This is Sharon Lippincott. I'm recording this demo to show you how to use Audacity to record soundtracks for your PowerPoint slides. So you can either convert the PowerPoint to a flash video or just leave it as a self-running PowerPoint show. I like to use Audacity because you can do each track and you can edit the tracks. You have a lot more control than you do if you record directly into PowerPoint. So I have Audacity set up here and you can't see it right now but I have PowerPoint open to my first slide so I can look at it and think about what I want to say. When I'm ready to start recording I click on this red button and this gives me the chance to start telling the story of the slide. You can see as I talk these blue blobs appear. That's what my words look like as sound waves. So I talk and I tell the story of that slide. When I'm done, I click on the yellow stop button here. There we have it. We have the slide one audio track. Now you can press on this green button to play it. And this gives me the chance to start telling the story of the slide. You can see as I talk these blue blobs of Okay, we don't need to listen to the whole thing. Now there's one thing I'm going to do before we save this. This is okay. We'll pretend I've listened. It works better if you don't have a lot of trailing left at the beginning. So I'm going to get pretty close to the first word there, click on it, and pull it back to the end, and I'm just going to delete that. That's like deleting the extra spaces in a Word document. So that cleans it up just nice and tidy, and as soon as the slide clicks on, the words are going to start. I leave a little bit there so people have time to see before their ears have to kick in, but no more than half a second. Half a second is this much, so I have about a quarter of a second there. Now, I'm going to export it. When you first click on export, you get this edit metadata field. That isn't important for these. If you were recording a song or something that you wanted people to be able to play on their MP3 players, that might matter. For us today, it doesn't. So we click OK. Now I already have a folder set up. In this case, it's on the desktop. It's down here. It's called Slideshow. And Audacity Demo. Audacity, um, I've already been using it, so it has a built-in name. I want to call this Slide 1. And you see it's set up. It's going to already save it as an MP3 file here. So all I have to do is click Save. You see that quick little window that comes up showing you it's converting it. I'm done with Track 1 slide one. So I'm going to close this. Now I go to PowerPoint. I open slide two so I can see that and when I'm ready I click on the red button. I start talking. I tell the whole story of slide two. That's it. I'm done. I preview it on the red button. I start talking. I tell. Now you notice I started talking right away. I didn't leave any space there. It's a good idea to leave just a little bit of tail when you start and maybe a little bit at the end when you finish. You don't have to be in such a rush as I am here. So now I go in and I'm going to export it and click through. Now I already recorded slide two but I think I did a better job this time. I just I lost my way and I started coughing on slide two and it wasn't good so I'm going to save this one as slide two. It asks me, do you want to replace it? I say, yes, I do. So now I have a better version of slide two. I can go on. I can do slide three. I can do slide four. I can keep going until my whole slideshow is recorded. Now what to do with these when we've finished is the subject for another tutorial later and I think we'll do a little bit on editing them before you put them in too but this is enough to get you started so have fun and stay tuned